This Washington Commanders edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet fifty dollars at WinBet and get two hundred dollars in free bets. Bet big, win bigger with WinBet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T to claim your free bets today. We're also brought to you by IP Vanish. IP Vanish is the official VPN of SGPN, and they're offering seventy percent off. If you go to ipvanish.com slash SGP, that's ipvanish.com slash SGP. And make sure to check out our new Discord server, the perfect place to interact and sweat bets with the entire SGPN crew. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. Hey, everybody, Joe Theismann here. You're listening to SGPN. So we'll do this, let it ride. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Brian, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer? dog football. Yes. I realized I accidentally wore the, uh, the, the football team, yeah, AKA what? the commanders. You're colors. rocking burgundy and gold, Ryan. Uh, what I'm the wearing, hell's going I'm on? I'm just wearing a hokey shirt. All right. You know, you know, I'm always going to be hokey. Oh, you gotta represent seven, the seven, five, seven represent. I mean, there are some hokies on the commander, so I will. I will have some fond things to say about some of the wow. players. Again, right, right? We've we've stopped viewing the com- the Commanders, aka the Redskins, aka the football team. By the way, it is funny how everyone agrees the football team's the best name, and they're moving off of it. Well, no it's, big deal. they're I, moving off I, of it. again. I mean, Dan Snyder has messed up so much with the franchise. The one thing he stumbled upon, you know, ki- calling the team the football team, yeah, which genius. meant you were still secretly the Redskins, yeah, and then giving that up. But you're football. also the football team. As an SEO yes. guy, you got to respect that, Sean. They Every just time, went right for it. <laughs> Every, uh, yeah. As, as a host of the Sports Gambling Podcast, you got to love when you call yourself <laughs> the football team. Respect. It was actually, you know, tip of the hat to uh, Snyder. That was actually kind. <laughs> yeah. Of that badass. wasn't his idea. No, that's what I'm saying. He fell into a great idea, and even that they had to mess up by relaunching it uh, as the as the commanders. All right, we are we are in the in the thick of it, Brian. Previewing all 32 NFL teams on the National Football League. Hey, if you're looking to bet the NFL. That's right. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Win bet. That's right. Sports gambling podcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. $50 bet gets you uh two hundred dollars in free bets while that get it in, get in while you can. Uh MLB reduced juice. So much going on over at Win Bet. Again, uh win totals we're pulling right from the Win Bet app. So you like what we're saying or you want to fade us either way, fire it up, support the podcast, support the network, sports gambling podcast.com slash W Y N N B E T win bet, man. Just can't wait to go back to another win bet state. I look forward to the days where I'm going to be at a win bet state. I think I'm going to the cards Eagles in Arizona win bet state. So I can spin that parlay wheel. Love that thing. Sports gambling podcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. Offer subjects change terms, conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state where playthrough winbet is available. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. Joining us on the line to talk Washington Commandos, aka the Commanders. He is, uh, you're going to be hearing him more on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. Mr. Andrew Rob, what's happening, Andrew? Hey, how's it going, guys? Kramer, uh, we are accepting applications for <laughs> new fans. So uh, if you need a jersey instead of that no. maroon shirt, I can get you one. Uh, I mean, funny enough, I do have uh, the 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 homemade Washington football jersey I, I made in oh. in the old studio, <laughs> aka my garage. Uh, it is hanging in the wardrobe closet here. I uh, decided to just stay with the the hokey shirt. 
Uh, yeah, no, the, the commanders were never on the list of teams that were uh, wooing me. Never, oh, never yes. took a peek at the Forgot. ass, the tits, none of it. I, I had no interest. All Forgot right? Ryan's short lived free agency <laughs> the until commanders were never oh, my on goodness. the list of teams. What are you... we're, we're feedbacking. Oh, my goodness. Ryan, I'm what's sorry. going on over there? The, 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 the ghost is in the, in the machine. So we got Andrew here again. Uh, first, kind of got on our radar is just a diehard <laughs> fantasy football best ball guy, just a hardcore addict. Well, I did I, lose a Chase Young jersey. Yes, too. that's right. So I, in the ultimate troll move, I was expecting you to be rocking the Chase Young jersey <laughs> to rub it in uh, Ryan's face. I think you guys. What was the bet? It was just who would have more wins, either uh, Giants or or Commanders. Uh, it was uh, who won the actual NFC East that oh. year. It was the COVID year. It was the year that yeah. I mean, you guys sh- should remember this. I mean, you and Ryan blew up at each other on the podcast. It was when the, the oh, Eagles, yeah. uh, <laughs> the Eagles just pretty much oh, rolled wow. over for us. So uh, yeah, so I appreciate the Chase Young, but you know, today I'm rocking the old Scary Terry oh, T-shirt. That's here. pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty dope, right? I got I got no beef with uh, Terry McLaurin, but let's let's kick off. Uh, talk about Chase Young. Chase Young, it, it seemingly like it, it was looking like he was going to be ready for week one. Now it doesn't look like he, he's going to be ready for week one. He's going to start the uh, looks like he could be starting the week on pop. Uh, had a very good rookie year, only one and a half sacks in nine games, but did get some hurries and pressures. What is your thought on Chase Young overall so far in Washington? Uh, I, I mean, honestly, I think it was the right move uh, by them. I mean, he's a generational player. Um, if you can stay healthy. So uh, I think the pick was good. And again, you know, if they have to deal, you know, a few weeks without him, the, the D line, I mean, th- there's so many pieces there between pain, Allen sweat. Um, I think they'll be able to hold it down, but hopefully he can come back. Uh, I, I really would like if he didn't go on the pup, um, you know, obviously that's ideal, but um, you know, I, I do still think it was a, the right pick at the time. Yeah, no, I mean, he had a, he had an amazing first year. It did seem like last year at some point, Ron Rivera was calling him out a little bit, trying to get more from him. What do you think of Chase Young, Ron Rivera, their relationship? I, I mean, honestly, I, th- I think it's all right. Um, I think he sees that that he Chase has to be the leader on, on that D line. Um, you know, his his rookie year, he came out balls to the wall. You know, fucking flying around, just murdering people. I mean, look what he did to to Joe Burrow. I mean, so I, I think he expects more out of him, and just knowing Ron Rivera and, and his leadership skills. Um, I think that that's what he wants from, from chase young. Yeah. Speaking of, speaking of Ron Rivera, I was looking at Ron Rivera. I, I, I like Ron Rivera as a guy. I think he, I think he has respect from the locker room. I think he's probably, but probably more of a coordinator than a head coach, 11 seasons, 11 head coaching seasons. How many times Ryan has he gone? Has he won more than seven games? Well, I mean, how many times has the river boat float up the river? I don't know. <laughs> Great question. He has won more than uh, seven games three times. Oh, He's won good. seven games a bunch. Some are calling him the next uh, Jeff Fisher, which I I would Ooh. be worried about in Washington. I like that. Defensive are you mind. are you are Andrew? Are you in on <laughs> Ron Rivera? What? Or actually, let's phrase it this way: What scares you more this season, Ron Rivera as a head coach or Carson Wentz as your quarterback? Oh. Oh my God. That's Carson Wentz by far. Come on now. <laughs> All right. uh, I, I, I mean, you watched him. You saw yes. what happens when he gets under pressure. So I, I'm expecting at least 20 interceptions from, from Wentz this year. Well, and, and it's weird. He didn't even have a ton of interceptions last year. I think he only had seven interceptions, but he also has the fumbles. And then it's just it, when he has the interceptions, how bad they look. I mean, I would, you know, I would even take a few more interceptions, but when he starts throwing the ball with his left hand, like Colts fans yeah. cut together a highlight reel. And it's not obviously not highlights, but of him throwing the ball with his left hand. If I'm Ron Rivera, the OC, whoever I say, if you throw the ball with your left hand, I'm putting in Sam Howell. Yeah. That's it. You cannot do whatever you want. No left-handed throws over under left-handed throws for Carson Wentz. He's got to get one in, right? <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I would say five probably. He, he he tries to be Patrick Mahomes out there, but he's he's the poor man. Ryan, where are you where are you at? Uh, where are you at on this Commanders team? Uh, it, I'm I'm all over the place because on one hand I have these notes like, hey, uh, Terry McLaurin's been really good, and his quarterbacks have been Tyler Heineke, uh, Dwayne Haskins, Kyle Allen, Case Keenum, and Alex Smith. So like, it, it, you can, and I think some of the community is doing this, Sean. You you could make an argument that Carson Wentz is an upgrade. You look on paper, 
at some numbers, you're like, oh, you know, man, he was only he was only 17th in EPA. That's not horrible. It's better than Heineke, right? Yeah. But we watched him play, and we know that I he's guess. never gonna have the we he's never gonna have the locker room. I mean, we're already hearing the reports about how some of the wide receivers are vibing with Sam Howell. I'm perhaps <laughs> this could just be troll jobs uh, by by the media, but. Uh, I also have notes that, um, oh, sorry, the the the, the scary ter- the the Terry McLaurin note was like, hey, he's good with bad quarterbacks, so maybe he can be good with uh, Carson Wentz. Jihad Dotson Dotson was good with Sean Clifford. <laughs> I mean, he's not a good quarterback, although he did it beat out Will Levis. You draft nerds, uh, and I think just p- period. This team it strikes me as the kind of team that can very well poke their head up and win. Nine, uh, ten games, maybe the ceiling, and win the division in a strange year. More likely, I think this locker room is. Uh, I think we're we're on unsteady ground. Yeah, and I I think I think Jack Del Rio might pop back <laughs> up at some point, and, and you know, I, there's a greater than zero percent chance that maybe there's a player or two in the locker room that has different feelings about him that somehow enter into the situation when they're losing games early in the season. I just think that that this could fracture faster than it could turn into the perfect storm. Yeah, and and you mentioned Jack Del Rio. Uh, Football Outsiders had this nugget of uh, they allowed forty eight and a half percent conversion rate on third down, second worst in the NFL. Like, and they compared it to other teams with those kind of stats. And usually, uh, the defensive coordinator got fired in that spot. I mean, tons of talent uh, on the front uh, on the defensive line in particular. The line, you know, the uh, defensive line. But what about what about the uh, what about the cornerbacks? What about the defensive secondary? Andrew, where are you at with with the commanders secondary? Uh, I actually think the secondary can take a step up this year. Um, you know, Kendall Fuller, Cam Curl, Bobby McCain, uh, William Jackson. If they can stay healthy, uh, Cam Curl's. You know, I, I have a lot of uh, faith in him and. I, I think that he's going to take a big leap forward this year. Um, so I actually think that the secondary will be a lot better than it was. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of that will stem from the D line being good. You know, uh, same thing that Ron Rivera did in Carolina, you know, with Josh Norman was the, the D line was good. They got a lot of interceptions. So I, I think if they can stay healthy, you know, they can, they can manage. I like Kendall Fuller, obviously hokey. Uh, I, I, I don't know about, uh, I think I, I, I have a note. I'm scrolling to try to find it. William Jackson, 149th PFF cornerback grade. <laughs> they paid him. A, they paid him a couple bucks, three year, forty million. So well, he was. He's got to take a step forward. Jackson said he started off really bad. Didn't even like yeah. watching the film now from that first part. But he claims he he figured out the the defense uh, in kind of in the second half of the season, and and that helped him uh, I, figure it out. And as someone who's rooted for Landon Collins. I know that the numbers might suggest to you that he is uh, addition by subtraction when it comes to the pass defense, but fuck you. That dude makes your defense better. <laughs> like he plays downhill and he may, I, it's kind of like Jamal Adam. It's like, it's like, I get it. He's not the best in coverage, but you still want him on the field. He's still going to make the team, the defense or the offense play differently. So I don't even know if I buy that as being a positive, like getting, getting him off the field and his bad pass ratings, you know, pass yeah. defense ratings. So I, I think the, the the way this goes well is the defense is is back to where it was, right? Like, uh, I think this was a, a team that we saw go from 27th in 2019 to fifth in 2020, back to 27th in DVOA in 2021. Classic plexiglass theory. So you got to follow the pattern. So now, well, so now you're gonna have fifth. seven, eight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it shows you that the, that's where the ceiling is. And if this team has a top five defense because the pass rush is back and because the back end is, is fixed, then yeah, absolutely. I think, I, I think this is a team that can threaten for the division, but I think more likely they, they, they regress to somewhere in the middle and they have a middling defense, which is not good enough to carry a Carson Wentz led team. Well, and, and 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 kind of getting back to Carson Wentz because obviously it's this an team. important part of the handicap. Here. <laughs> yeah, I he, like Sam Howell. I think <laughs> Sam Howell's very interesting if he can find a way. Because again, I've heard multiple receivers be quoted as saying something positive about Sam Howell. Now I don't know the real context. Obviously, I was just doing a little Reddit surfing, but it does seem like they, they maybe he's a, he's delighting them a little bit. Like Carson Wentz is a fucking asshole. He's been run out of town twice. Well, the the red flag is Frank Reich. Frank Reich is his guy, quote unquote, 
went above and beyond, put uh, his reputation on the line to bring in Carson Wentz, I have and then theory. they got rid of him after one year. I have a theory. Yeah, Dan Snyder overpaid for Carson Wentz. Why? He needed someone to look worse than him <laughs> around the Washington Commanders team. <laughs> I, I mean, what's well, not and, to believe? And, and, and Carson Wentz. Now he's gonna. I, I would say the offensive line, a uh, little bit of a downgrade from what he had well, in Sheriff Indianapolis. Was good, I think, right? Yeah, uh, and they're he's gonna gone. miss him. Uh, <laughs> PFF has him fifteenth. Uh, I, I think you know the tackle they got from the Bears. He's he's solid. I think they're okay, uh, like average, um, league average offensive line. And you know having Jonathan Taylor on your offense really makes a difference. I mean, he was in the mix there for offensive MVP. Kind of an interesting situation at running back. Would love to know your thoughts on running back for the Commanders, not only for the season itself, but also for fantasy. Because you mm. know, there's talk about the uh, rookie uh, you guys drafted in the third round, Brian Robinson. Brian Robinson Jr. getting a run, and you know, Ron Rivera's saying like, "Hey, we want to split snaps," which it, it just seems like Antonio Gibson fantasy value way low. But what's your what's your thought on uh, Commanders running backs? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I think it's Gibson's job to lose. Um, it does scare me for fantasy purposes because McKick's, uh, McKissick's the PPR guy. Robinson, you know, they're talking about him getting all the goal line work. So, you know, Gibson right now is going like the seventh round. I, I actually was in a best ball draft the other night on underdog, and he actually dropped to the eighth round. Like there, I, you know, I don't mind taking a shot, yeah. but I, I, I just can't do it before that. Honestly, I'd rather wait, you know, a bunch of rounds and take Brian Robinson. Um, you know, cause Gibson, again, you know, he's not the uh, epitome of health, you know, he does get hurt. So um, I think Robinson could be league winner uh, for you in fantasy. If you pick him in the, you know, 14th, 15th round, what um, it, it, you know, do, it does seem like they're going to be committed. They, they have to be committed to the run. Like in a weird way, they, they probably have one of the higher carry floors. I know the offense might be bad, which might limit it, but just for me, like what the coaches want to do. Oh yeah. Dinosaur brain. Take right? the ball like out of Carson Wentz's hands, <laughs> establish the run. traded for this motherfucker. <laughs> uh, they do. Since they are in the NFC East, they do have the uh, six easiest uh, strength of schedule. If you look at win totals, which is obviously the way to look at it. So that's a plus. I have fourth easiest for what it's worth. Yeah. I think, you know, as the win totals have gone up and down a little bit, but um, Certainly easy schedule, regardless. easy schedule, at least, you know, by win totals looking at it, Sean, fun fact. Yeah. Did you know that their odds were 50 to one to win the super bowl oh, before yes. they signed and Carson then, Wentz and then it went to 60 to one or <laughs> 70, 70 to, to one. one. That was the ultimate troll and shout out to win bet. I know they were one of the uh, places that adjusted the line there. Uh, worth noting Carson Wentz did roll both of his ankles last year. So you're, you're really getting a, I I've never Buy seen low, that. Yeah. I I've been watching football for my entire life. Someone out with two rolled ankles at the same time, really historic. So Andrew, what, what is your, what, what are you most optimistic about this commander's team? And what are you most concerned about besides Wentz? Uh, Optimistic actually is the is the wide receivers. Um, you know, with Curtis Samuel coming back healthy, uh, Jahan Dotson, you know, shot out Penn State. Uh, yeah, that dude burner. has hands like like nobody else. I mean, he carries a football around everywhere he goes. I Obviously, love that. Scary it's Terry is <laughs> yeah, Scary Terry is is you know the man. So I'm really optimistic that they're going to be able to take a step forward um, with the passing game. Um, you know, the thing that scares me most is, is health. I, I don't know what it is with this team or, or if it's the fields, but man, they, they take a beating every year and, mm -hmm. you know, Carson Wentz can't stay healthy. He's going to get eaten alive behind the offensive line. Cause I, I do honestly think they're going to finish probably middle of the pack um, at best. So it, it does concern me health wise that this team's just going to get, you know, obliterated with, uh, with injuries. But if they can stay healthy, I, I honestly, I, I have them finishing second behind the Eagles in the division. Mm. Oh, let's go. Well, you know, you, uh, you mentioned the field and I was on the commander's subreddit, you know, going oh. behind enemy lines. And it did seem like every other post was about the uh, FedEx field turf and how it destroys careers uh, and how <laughs> like the Cleveland Snyder, Indians from major league <laughs> down. Dan Snyder needs to be like held accountable. We fixed the field and they did fix the field. Well, it's not fixed. It's, it was a, uh, it was, you know, much like the Panthers. They, you got, you got to get rid of that field turf. Not great for the knees, ankles. It's, it could eat up, eat them up. You mentioned, uh, and and I do, I, I would agree with you. I think uh, receiver core, pretty solid. Um, you know, and and assuming Dotson ends up being pretty good, I could see him having that uh, Deshaun Jackson role uh, again. Limited sample size with Wentz, but 
you know, a couple times, uh, or you know, in the small sample size they played together, he definitely was able to uncork some deep balls and and hit them. Uh, what about Logan Thomas? He was always like a staple there, but he's again someone who's been dealing with a ton of injury issues. Wh- who do you expect to be out there for tight end, and and what's your take on that position? Uh, yeah, I'm saying unfortunately Thomas is you know kind of trending to to miss some time. Um, there's two guys to watch out for. Um, it'd be John Bates and Cole Turner. Cole Turner's the the rookie from Nevada. Uh, John Bates was there last year. You know he was a decent fill in. They're both just big cornbread fuckers. I mean, they, they are huge, <laughs> both of them. So um, I actually like both of them again in best ball, you know, if yeah. you have once and you want to, and you want to stack one of them, um, I, I'd probably take my shot on Bates first, just cause he's, he's going to be the next one up. Um, but keep your eye on Cole Turner. I mean, that dude's huge and, and he has pretty good hands for a tight end as well. So I, I was actually building a uh, week one DFS lineup, oh. and we should we, like we we will do an episode I yes. guess this week. Oh, well, point. it's funny you mentioned that because I was talking with a uh, fellow uh, SGPN contributor uh, Terrell Furman, oh. and we were going back on like what we liked our week one stacks already and planning. And I said I'm going to do 32 lineups because the Millie Maker is only five dollars. I was going to do 32 lineups. Obviously, it's not 32 because of the primetime games, whatever. But then I said two notable exceptions: one, no Cowboys stack, and two, no Commanders because fuck Carson Wentz. So unfortunately, I didn't leave him out. I know it. I a a from a from a non biased approach, a Carson Wentz, Jahan Dotson. A uh, stack with like um, no, you go Christian ba- Kirk bring back maybe. I, I, I like the Bates. You do Bates and 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 scary Terry. You're probably or maybe like. Yeah, one of the uh, I go chalk you, with Terry McLaurin because not many people are going to be on that. You stack that okay. with Wentz, you throw in Bates, and then you bring it back. I think I think Kurt's going to be the low A dot guy. I think you want to you want someone who's going to be stretching the field down there. So wh- whoever we figure that will be that that will be the bring back. But maybe it's Evan Ingram, although drops already. That no, not two <laughs> tight ends. We don't want two tight ends. All right. Yeah, Ryan, you're crazy. All right, can I, I have a fun nugget sure. for the schedule? Because is it about Carson Wentz dual? No, no. I'm, I'm gonna. I, I know a lot of. Uh, I know a lot of the 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 touts out there. They listen to us and they they steal our material, Sean. So I'm gonna give them something for free. If they if you're pro Carson Wentz and Commanders, here's what you can say: This team will be a favorite or pick them in 11 games this year. Wow, really? And they will oh only God. be dogs of three or more four times all year. La- Ready? Hold on. Now, if you don't <laughs> like the commanders, here's what you say. Sean, this team will be a dog in or pick them in 10 <laughs> of 17 games this year. And you know, they will only be a favorite of three or more four times. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. They're That's living on the fence. Sides. They're living on the fence. And what better? Like, who do you want to captain your fucking ship when you're not, when you're a middling on the fence team? Carson. The he's commander. worth he's worth negative points every game. <laughs> I don't care what the numbers say. Like you said, multiple left-handed throws in a professional football game. A last, Sorry. last. No, I, I'm with you. I, no, I think those are fun. Though, right? he's, you're he's, gonna use one. Of he's those, gonna right? be super frustrating for Andrew, unfortunately, because yeah, I feel he's bad. gonna he's gonna have like a couple bombs to Dotson where you're like, yeah, just do that, yeah. and then he's gonna be trying to get a bomb to Dotson, and he's gonna be holding it on, and he's gonna do a move where he rolls right, and then <laughs> bam, ro- turns around and rolls left. Honestly, I think maybe that's why his numbers were decent last year because he had both rolled ankles and he wasn't running around like an idiot. And he actually stayed in the pocket because he has that disease of just holding on to the top, ball top running game way too league long. Is pretty good too. Yeah. And having, having Jonathan <laughs> having La- last note, uh kicker, Joey oh. Sly, I think will cost him a game. Are you guys going to trot out Joey Sly? Andrew? Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, um, okay. I said the 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 bright spot of kicking the ball is Tressway. Man, that dude's awesome. Well, first of all, Joey Sly also a hokey. So watch okay. watch your tongue, sir. Uh, look, Sean. Last year uh, we just just so to prepare ourselves yes. for the schedule uh, journey we're about to go through. Uh, I I predicted seven and ten. I locked up the under. Nailed it exactly. Thank you very much. There were seven much. and ten. Seven nine and one against the spread I, went under their win total by a, a a game. I also locked up no playoff. Sean, you went eight and nine. Also had an under. You also locked up a Fitzpatrick under twenty three <laughs> passing <laughs> touchdowns. Wow, that was home so, run. That was that was <laughs> lucky. Uh, well, come on. Starts the first game and bam. He's just not, I love 
Fitz magic, but he was just not a guy who was going to play an entire season. Six and 11 ATS for me when picking the football team games last year. You were seven and 10. This was not a team we were very, most of the <laughs> they wins. They were tough to di- <laughs> dial in. We were, yeah, we were not picking them. Uh, pr- we weren't particularly good picking them in the NFC East games or any games. Uh, they were a bit of a, a ping pong. Which uh, you know what? If the, if the takeaway for me is don't bet these these fucking Commanders games, then maybe that's a good takeaway. So they were seven and ten last year, seven and nine the year before. Uh, twenty twenty, they were nine and seven against the spread and and went over their their win total five and a half. That included, of course, the uh, the bonus game. The Eagles uh, helped oh. them win there and oh. and. Put Heineke in the playoffs and get Heineke uh, fever going. All right, we're gonna get to the 2022 betting odds. Walk through the schedule before we do that. Shout out to IP Vanish. That's right, your lead pipe lock when it comes to internet security, safety, whatever you're doing on the internet. You want to keep it encrypted. You don't want people accessing your data, your passwords, your browsing history. Can you imagine if someone got into your browsing history? Complete nightmare. That's why IP Vanish makes you virtually invisible online. You can use it on a uh, media device like a Fire Stick, great for streaming. We use it here uh, for God's Eye, aka the SGPN Studio TVs. 70% off their yearly plan plus a 30 day money back guarantee. Essentially getting nine months free. IPVanish.com slash SGP. And breaking news. What? Brand new sponsor, uh-huh. Odds Trader. That's right. Mm. Odds Trader is a uh, it's an awesome place where you can compare all the odds from all the major sports books. Again, compare the different signup codes, promos, whatever it is. They also hit you up with some stats, key uh, you know player stats, injury reports, projected game day weather. Kind of your one stop shop. You get the best prices. Get a little info. Uh, some handicap and stuff in case you want more free action, live scores, bet tracking, odds trader really does it all. Again, highly re- recommend it just for finding the best signups and a promo codes. And a uh, bet tracker again allows you to keep your records of all your games and your betting activity. All you got to do is go to oddstrader.com slash blue wire. That's odds trader, O D D S trader.com slash blue blue wire odds trader to the number one site for all your game day bets. All right, Kramer, let's do it. Here's what we got for the 2022 numbers. Win total sitting at eight, somewhat even juice. Although I'm seeing seven and a half uh, two with some like, you know, big juice on the over. We'll call it at eight uh, to win the NFC East plus 500 to win the NFC. 32 to 1 to win the Super Bowl 70 to 1. Make playoffs plus 190. Miss playoffs minus 240. I'm leaning under, but maybe there's a world where uh we can get to we can get to the over. I, I mean, I, my, my yeah, my my gut was like, all right, I get it. The schedule got easier, but did they does Carson Wentz really make you a win better? And that that's a hard pill to swallow. All right. <laughs> it's a giant fucking mid pill from from <laughs> North Dakota that just doesn't get get along with his teammates. Like you know, draft day is upon us, Sean. Yeah, uh, shout coming out up to draft August day 9th, Ryan. In a week pl- uh, You know, I, I don't know if Carson Wentz had any teammates at his birthday party. It's a good question. I know he was mad that Nick Foles was doing really well. So, oh, I mean, uh, imagine being the starter and, and the backup just is is literally hung like an eggplant. <laughs> it's that's embarrassing. All right, all right, Washington Commandos long. Cox. It is funny to call him Carson the Commando. There, there is something funny about that. All right, Jags again. Just the diabolical nature of the schedule mm-hmm. maker. Week one, they have the team that knocked Carson Wentz out of the playoffs last oh, year, ended, to one. ending his career in uh, on the Colts, and also coached by Doug Peterson. Uh, you know, there's some history there at Detroit. Week two. Uh, Eagles, early season, huh? How do you feel about that, Sean? And then at Dallas, let's go, bring it. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm intrigued to, to see them have those two early division games. That's uh, that's fun. Uh, look, this is. I think they lose that first week against Jack. I, there's too many demons here for Carson Wentz to win that game. <laughs> I, I understand. The ja- he's literally playing the Jags in back-to-back games. And, and yeah, I get it. The spread's four and a half. Like you, probably not the smartest thing to be grabbing that money line. But I'm grabbing that money line. I'll say this: I do think this team's going to have some success against teams with 
crappier defenses, especially ones who lack any sort of pass rush. So mm. I think they could go on the road and upset a you know at this point maybe reeling Detroit Lions team looking to fall to, to zero and two <laughs> uh, after getting smashed by the Eagles w- week one, right, Sean? Uh, and I, then, I'm predicting a smashing. Yeah, so I I, I would say. I, I don't want to be super down on this team, but I, I do okay. think they're going to be able to exploit certain types of teams. I, I don't know if there's more than one of them on the, in this part of the schedule, but I'll I'll say two and two because I do think they'll split. two and two is yeah, is, is favorable. Let's let's see how much of a homer Andrew yeah. is kicking off the first four games. What do you have uh, the Commanders going first four games? Uh, I'm going to take them three and one. Oh. The only loss is to the Eagles. They okay. are going to smash the Cowboys, though. <laughs> yes, we can agree on that. I mean, we Man. all know that that's where my second win is. You know, this is always the toughest part of being a handicapper, where it's like yeah. I want to be negative on the Commanders, but then does that am I implying positivity for the Dallas no. Cowboys? No, you are. I don't think I can do that. I I do think they. I I'll say this. I I think back to back division games, winning one of them. Makes a ton of sense, and then between the Jags and the Lions, I do. I'm with you, Ryan. I I think Jags cover the number. I don't know about the outright win. Uh, I'll have to see what my model shows for NFL Week One. I do like them in Detroit. That's a that's the type of game I think this team could win. So I'll say I'll say two and two. I think two and two is fair. Feel like we're optimistic. All right. Tennessee. I mean, they could, you know, if they go zero and four, is anyone shocked? Well, I'm just trying. Besides to, Andrew, I'm just. It's a, we're having a thought experiment. No, I mean, I, I think again, I think there's a decent amount of variance on this team, and the, the problem is, I could see this team schedule has wins in it. Sean. I, could, I could see this team losing a bunch of close games, either because of the kicking issue, uh, something Carson Wentz does turnover wise, uh, you know. They, they are. I mean, they're literally favorites of three or more. Four times, and their dogs are of three or more. Four times, the rest of the games are between three, basically. No, that's right. So, and so, I can uh, see so them like losing some close between ones, two so. and a half, actually. So they're they're absolutely skirting that that uh, media mediocrity. Tennessee at Chicago on Thursday night football. Then a little mini buy with the Packers at home, and then at Colts, like another <laughs> just revenge, like. Carson went the Carson Wentz <laughs> demons tour. He is he's got Doug Peterson week one. I d- I don't know if there's any Detroit. Uh, is there a Jared Goff the number one pick week two? Yeah. And you have the Eagles week three storyline. Like Jesus Christ. So uh, he's got so many X's. J Lo. Uh, this is a tough one because as even me being down on the Bears, I, I do feel like that's a winnable Thursday game. Night the, games are always <laughs> that's tough. a winnable game for the Bears. Uh, Tennessee, I, the, the, I'm, I will say, I, as I have started to look into that team, I, you know, I wonder. I have some questions about Tennessee, so I'll go one and three here. Yeah, I'm leaning one and three. I'll and, let I'll let Andrew and try. If they and go see. two and two, it's because they snake one from the Packers. That that's the kind of game that uh, Aaron Rodgers could. Uh, Can uh, now one and three. I'm going to predict what Andrew is going to oh, give I out like for this. his prediction. I like this. I'm going to say Andrew's going to. Be a little bit realistic and say two and two. I think he can live with five and three okay. through eight games. But I'll, Andrew, what, what are you going? What are you going? I, well, I'll wait till Andrew. Oh, goes. I see. I'll say I'm. I'm going to go two and two. Yes, um, knew um, it. Yeah, I mean, I mean that makes the most sense there. Yeah, I mean, uh, what what are the games you're most worried about here? I mean, Packers oh. always going to be brutal, and then at Indy, it just, just seems like for a guy uh, who has had <laughs> some problems between his ears, some head issues, that could be tough, right? Yeah, those two games are, are are the one I was going to point out. I mean, we're going to get smacked by the Packers. I mean, I, I I'll probably bet on the Packers to beat us by seventeen plus points on that <laughs> one. Um, just so I don't feel so bad watching it. Do you remember edge. this indie crowd? This is a Midwestern crowd. They're nice people. You remember what they, they did finally to, found the guy they didn't like. Do you remember what they did to Andrew Luck yeah, when he fucking was... retired in the middle of the preseason? Oh, that they was so pissed. hilarious. What do you think they're going to do to Carson Wentz when he shows up? Oh, they are gonna throw shrimp at him. No or love loss for cocktail. Carson Wentz. Uh, all, right. all right, so you're. Uh, so what did I? I had two and two before, yes. right? Two and two here again. They're four and four. Okay. All right. Uh, is that a little high? I I will caution you, Sean. The schedule is a little easy. You might find the schedule okay, easier go, on I'll the go, back end. I'll go one and three. 
All right. Three and five feels pretty right for this. Yeah. We're lockstep team. here. We know we know our commandos. Uh, although data would data would say otherwise. Vikings at home. Although you you nailed it, and I was one game off. So that's true. On the, on the if you zoom out, I'm not picking them week to week. All right, at Phil, or uh, Minnesota at home at Philly on Monday night football at Houston back to back road games there, and then Atlanta at home. So you know, I, I certainly think there will be. I mean, the biggest favorite of the year, probably after Jacksonville, is probably them over Atlanta. Yeah, I'm I'm super down on Atlanta, um, but I, and also I do think they Kirk Cousins it, revenge spot here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There are a lot of <laughs> narratives. Um, yeah, I don't know. I they lose to the Eagles for sure. I, I the back to back road part scares me. I'll I'll say they go two and two. I, I'll say they beat the Vikings, but I'll say two and two. Lose the road games, win the home games. Two and two smells right because you have back to back road games, tough spots, but then bookended by winnable spots at home against the Vikings, who I, I still think their defense could be an issue. And then uh at I home think against pe- the Yeah, Fox. people are just like penciling in Kirk Cousins as like, yeah, no, he's not gonna create losses. He, he's Ru- just it's the same that people are doing with Carson Wentz. It's like, guys, these quarter, certain quarterbacks create losses. Aaron Rodgers, um, <laughs> Lazard, Tunyon with a Jefferson. Oh, back. Ooh, that's that nice, was the one yes. I was working on today. Uh, while in the can, uh, Andrew, what do you got? I I think two and two makes too much sense not to. So I'm going two and two. Uh, I got them three and one there. Yes. I actually think that they beat the Vikings. Uh, you know, yep. fuck her cousins. Uh, I yep. had to watch that uh, that abysmal dude uh, just. <laughs> Be Jeff Fisher for us. I mean, you know, just he, he's just he's just middle of the pack, you know. So I actually think that they squeak that out and go three and yeah. one there. All right, okay. yeah. You you rarely hear fuck Kirk Cousins. People like just that. he they like don't bother having an opinion on Kirk Cousins. But yeah, I know what you mean. You don't need to have him. Remember the time he he, just, mi- he missed on the baby reveal? Just not an accurate guy. Oh yes, that was great. Yeah, he, he just can't get it done. So. <laughs> Richard Richard Gertzberger checking in saying Philly fan never happy. They never. don't have Carson Wentz and they still hate him. I I I have a soft spot in my heart for oh. Carson Wentz. Oh, no. He did help me bring home six figures uh. in uh, DFS, uh, and help <laughs> secure a number one seed, which ultimately let Nick Foles take us to the promised land. However, when you ask out of the city you're playing in, yeah, y- bitch. It's kind of a you're gonna you can't ask you can't be asked to be traded out of Philadelphia and expect the fans to still like you. I mean, are you ever gonna be able to look Brian Dawkins in the eyes? Me? No. Oh Carson Wentz. Oh, Carson Wentz. Absolutely not. You cry. Turn to fucking stone. (laughs) All right, next four. Final four, Rod. Final five. No, final a final four plus one. At New York Giants. Bye week. They get a fourteen week fourteen uh, bye week, which probably bye week. is not great for them. Carson Wentz might need it before then. Then they come out of the bye and Same get the Howell Giants era. and get the Giants again. Uh, uh, for r- note taking purposes, the Giants will have the Eagles in between there. So interesting spot. Then they have at Forty uh, Nine ers a little road trip to the West Coast, and then they will take on the Browns at home. So probably Watson's back. Yeah, I mean, is that a tough road spot? Obviously, those, in San Francisco. So look, the, they went two and zero against the Giants last year, which Andrew will tell you that they typically do not like, pull two wins off the Giants. Uh, they're lucky to even get one. So that that will regress. They'll 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 maybe get one of these. Uh, going to San Francisco, uh, the Kyle Shanahan revenge spot. So so many narratives. And then you have I, they probably win one of the San Francisco Cleveland games, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I 49ers at home late in the season. As much as I'm out on Trey Lance, uh, maybe they still I'll go Jimmy one G. Three here. What am I doing? John, <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm gonna go one and three, but I, these I like the, I like their final game. What do you what do you got them, Andrew? Uh two and two. I actually think that they're gonna go out there and show uh, people why Trey Lance sucks. Um <laughs> you know, so I'm, I, I'm, I do I'm, worry I'm about down the for an anti Trey Lance take. <laughs> yeah, so I got them going two and two. Um, I do think the Niners' defense is good, though. So you know that might cause a uh, you know Commander uh, Wentz over here to yeah. throw the game away for us. But but two and two. I'm still Wait. unclear. Did they ever explain what a commander? Is? I I know vaguely what a commander is. Someone but like, who leads, Sean. Yeah, I know. Was it, did it have any follow up? Is there is there a mascot? Do we have like Kami the commander? Any? Uh, do we know more about the commander nickname since we since? Basically, since I first heard of it, 
Uh, actually, this week they're going to allow fans to vote on a mascot. Oh no! Um, <laughs> Why would they last... let the fans be involved? Uh, well, I mean, they messed up the name. You know, it yeah, should have been wolves true. or red wolves. That's what everyone wanted. And so, yeah, Dan keep Snyder, the... of course, didn't want to shell out the money to, to to buy the copyright for it. So they just took the next best thing, <laughs> I guess, in their mind. And uh, we, so we have no mascot. They just brought out last week that we could vote on the fight song, which was literally the same fight song as before. They just changed the name to Commanders, which is just a slap <laughs> in the face. I mean. You, you you just can't do that. So, Hail so there's, to the there's no direction. It is HTTC now. That is the, the oh, that is the official <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> no, they, come on. Uh, I mean, no, it, it's it's funny though. You 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 mentioned you know about Wentz asking uh you know for out of Philly, which which is totally weird. But if he came to us and wanted out of Washington, all us fans would be like, yeah, we get it, man. We understand. <laughs> Like we've been here, we, no one wants to play for Snyder. The traffic in and out of the next field is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, the, there oh were, yeah, there were at least a couple. Uh, <laughs> there, there were at least a couple like FedEx parking threads, and then the one resp- the response that got the most up folks was <laughs> "You're fucked." <laughs> <laughs> There's two ways in and out of there. It's either through the ghetto or on Arena Drive, which is just back to back traffic the entire way down 95. And it, it's I I was there last time I was there. I think it was I was there twice in one weekend for a Virginia. Tech Boise State game and a Tim McGraw, uh, Kenny Chesney concert maybe. Hell yeah! And uh, the Kenny Ch- leaving the Kenny Chesney concert. It took so long. We were just in standstill traffic. Saw multiple people fall off the roofs, dancing on the roofs of their car. Was that the Kenny Chesney concert? It might have been the Virginia Tech Boise State okay. game. That was a tough, uh, tough loss. Fucking boys. And after state. a win, when we were the Redskins, we could drive down Arena Drive while we were sitting there and yell "Skins for the Skins" to the ladies. But of course, oh. now they ruin that too. <laughs> you know, they ruin everything for us. So Dan, Dan Snyder really is a piece of shit. All right, last game. <laughs> yes, uh, Dallas Cowboys at home. Of course, the Washington Football Team is going to take care of business here. Yep, I'm all in on that. Seven and ten. Sean, we were always going to get there, right? Seven I, and ten. Let me get some seven and ten. Yeah, as we well. don't. We don't want to be. We pick the exact same kind of quadrant record. We don't. We never want to be that mean to the the Washington football team because you know they'll randomly pop their head up if you're too too cruel. And they do have a lot of things going against them. The owner sucks, and he brought in a, this quarterback to take the attention off of him. I think they. Could, <laughs> I think they could be a better team and end up with the same record because they'll lose some close games. I because uh, of wins his turnovers like. And, and that's what's frustrating about rooting for Carson Wentz. Like you can see eye test that he would be way more talented than a bunch of other guys. If you're watching like throws in in training camp and whatever, you're like, why is this guy not you know better? But he, he hey. just really and also picking them to win seven games. Four of the last five mm. seasons they've won exactly <laughs> seven games. So Andrew so went. There is a trend there. Andrew went eleven and six. I love the love the <laughs> cojones to come on here. I mean that's that's I mean he he must really like the Eagles. He said second place to the. Oh, Eagles. okay. So he's so got he he's got it. us twelve and five. He, he he's giving you this nice little uh, kind of friendly compliment. Uh, go put it in right now. Eagles first uh, in the division and Washington second plus eleven hundred. Book it. Ooh. Oh, I like I like oh, the onions oh on this. Gosh. So you like that's a great uh, prop bet if you're high on the eleven hundred. Oh, that yeah, that's... plus eleven hundred Eagles and then Commanders first second. Hell yeah, I'll uh, take that. I don't know. I like that because it's anti. Cow- actually, you know what? I'm going to co-sign I'm doing Andrews. The, I'm doing the math here, and I'm, Philly I'm, number one. I, I'm not agreeing with either team actually. <laughs> Philly one, Washington second, plus eleven hundred. Oh, are you yes. stealing the pick? The guest oh, pick? I'm, Ryan, it's co-signing. Okay. Uh, it's it. You know, we're, we're, I understand. Okay, we're, so now what? We're a, a co-op here. What about what about any of these other futures? Well, I'm taking the under first. And foremost. Ryan's taking the under. I assume Andrew, you are too. Yes, I'm on the under. Andrew's on the over. Andrew's on the over. He also gave out that sweet prop. But what are the other? Um, are there any other futures you like, or any other like uh, player prop stuff? Maybe you're interested in, well, or before or you fantasy go fantasy stuff b- too. Before you go random, let's let's go. Let's real quick go alt. Uh, oh yeah, alt what do you have total. alt over nine? Which I think sounds like Andrew might like that. Plus two twenty five, which almost <laughs> I forget what what did you say for the the make the playoffs because that's almost a better bet there. Make playoffs is plus one ninety. I mean, why wouldn't you take over nine plus two twenty five? There's no way. 
Well, I guess because could and, they make it at nine and eight? Yeah, I mean, Eagles made it at nine and eight mm, last year. I, I guess I I would still take the over. I would nine. take make playoffs. I mean, I wouldn't take the over nine, but if I was Andrew, I would take the over nine. <laughs> yes, same I wouldn't on bet that. that with your. T- <laughs> uh, but I don't even. I'm not even going to touch the alternate under no. on this win total because, yeah, I don't. I, you know, I I do think there's enough talent on the defensive line, the receiving core. And again, Ron Rivera isn't a bottom out coach. He's not a gonna take you to the playoffs and make a run coach yeah, either. He's a but he's rah-rah. not he's not a uh, gonna embarrass the franchise coach. Like they brought him in to kind of set a tone and a culture and you know, try and establish some professionalism. And I think he has done that. I just think they're they're gonna be seven and ten again. I, I so I don't even like like even under seven and a half or so wait. Yeah, so under seven and a half, but like under six and a half, I don't think I would even touch. Under seven? Uh, what's under seven? Oh, I just uh, it was uh, plus one eighty five. Yeah, no, I'll just stick with the again. I'm just looking at their year by year record and seeing all these sevens, and I can't help but think seven and ten uh, makes a lot of sense for this Commanders team. But um, yeah, Andrew, a- any sort of like player prop stuff. Carson Wentz comeback player of the year, uh, Carson Wentz MVP, uh, any or maybe you know, uh, John Dotson offensive rookie of the year, uh, defensive rookie of the year. What are the what are those uh, any of the award stuff you like? Ron Rivera coach of the year. Certainly, if they won the division, you would think he would be in the mix there. Sam Howell rookie mm, of the year. That's interesting because. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you see the narrative there, but what are the what about like the player awards? Anything jumping out at you? Yeah, actually, I have Dotson written down here, offensive rookie of the year, plus sixteen hundred. Okay. Again, uh, you know, he is underrated, man. He has hands. I've been watching a lot of camp videos, and he catches everything. I mean, all, all these awful passes from Wentz, he's just <laughs> catching every single one of them. So he's gonna make Wentz look good. Um, but but actually, I think he's. Uh, going to win it with a, a double digit touchdowns. Um, I think that they're going to look a lot to him in the red zone, especially with Thomas being out. Um, so, so book that, you know, if you can find anywhere that you can get double digit touchdowns on him to bet, I would bet that a lot. Uh, the other thing is McLaurin, man, j- just do a machine always puts a thousand yards. Uh, they have his over under right now at nine sixty and a half. and uh, I will be taking the over on that as well. Uh, he, he hardly ever gets hurt uh, as well, you know, knock on wood, but um, so those are the two that really caught my eye when I was going through there outside of the, uh, you know, Eagles commanders, uh, one, two. Yeah. I, uh, it was kind of my note, right? Like bad, bad quarterback receiver Dotson played with Sean Clifford, had his best <laughs> year with Sean Clifford and, and same some with Terry, guy, Terry some... McLaren. I have a, I have a number here. So uh, 130 targets uh, last year, Terry McLaurin had 62.7% of them were deemed catchable. Mm. Lowest rate of any wide out in the league. Will that rate increase or decrease this year with Carson Wentz? Well, and, and I don't know. That's interesting. If we could get a line set on that uh, <laughs> easy in the YouTube, YouTube chat says most interceptions thrown Carson oh. Wentz. Thirty-five to one. Uh, no, because his he doesn't have a long leash. It's, that's, the leash isn't. Long I guess enough. that's, that's what, my angle. Yeah, because Sam Howell, they could easily put him in. I don't think they're even though they traded a decent amount for Carson Wentz. I don't think they let him get to twenty interceptions. I know you threw that out there, maybe kind of half joking, uh, with the reverse jinx there, Andrew. But do you think they let him get to twenty interceptions? No. And how close do you think Sam Howell is? To either being put in or winning the job, what do you think has to happen for Sam Howell to see the field aside from Carson Wentz injuries? Uh, I think it's going to be about the record. Uh, you know, if they're winning and he's still throwing interceptions, you know, based off you know what the defense does and wins those games, I think they'll they'll loosen the leash a little bit. But you know, if they start out two and six, two and seven, and he's just pick after pick after pick, you know, they're going to pull him and, and, and put the rookie in there. Um, and, and it's actually, you know, you guys haven't said Heineke at all, but he is listed as number two on the death chart right now. Oh, really? So, I completely uh, forgot he, about yeah. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he is still there. Um, but I, I do think by the, by the time the season rolls around, um, you know, how will, will be the backup to it to when. So um, I, yeah, again, I think it's just going to be based all on record, you know, wherever they're sitting after the first has, seven, has, eight games. Has there been any glowing reports about Sam Howell? Any any early takes yeah. on him so far? I, I did see that uh, you know you had mentioned that there's players coming out and saying that they 
uh, you know, they like his style of quarterback. You know, he's not afraid to sling it in there. So um, I, I think that he can he can go ahead and, you know, become starting quarterback week one, you know, if they really want to. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I like how I, I watched a lot of tape on him after they took him just to kind of see, you know, what he did in college. Cause I, I'd watched him a little bit, but not too much. Um, and, and I actually think he, he can be a competitor. You know, he has that, that pizzazz, if you will. Um, so, you know, and Wentz doesn't, so I, I just, <laughs> Uh, I don't no know. pizzazz I'm, for Commander Carson. I, yeah, <laughs> Sam Howell's got small hands, but forty to one win Rookie of the Year. And when you're mm. hearing stuff like that, you know, I I don't know. I mean, would the big the boss man's not going to let it happen? He's going to pick up the phone, well, and call his buddy Jack, and tell you know, hey, let let, let Ron know there's going to be a dust <laughs> up if you if you take that Carson Wentz well, character out of there. I'm trying to I'm trying to lose a lose some games this year. That's it's, the thing is, I feel like Carson Wentz is just good enough to win a couple games. Because if, if they that's do, why seven and ten makes we, so we much sense. We don't want him to bottom out because we the, we want Carson Wentz out there. That's for, we don't want Sam Howell to accidentally be good. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not you. I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm, I'm more <laughs> Andrew speaking Wentz of Andrew Wentz over here. But I mean, don't you kind of want Carson Wentz to really suck, and then then you get to see Sam Howell at least. I think he's a one year rental, no matter what. I mean, yeah. unless they make some weird, uh, you know, push in the playoffs and get to the NFC championship, something of that nature. But I honestly think that he's just a rental. Um, you'll let how learn w- what not to do and then put him out next year. Um, There's just yeah, a so photo I- of like a giant X <laughs> over Carson Wentz throwing the ball <laughs> left-handed. I'm going to make a prediction since we're, we've been talking about Sean Clifford. Yeah. The guy he beat out will Levis Washington commanders draft will Levis. Next oh, year. wow. Back to back quarterback. It turns out to be a horrible pick. Sorry, sorry, Andrew. Sorry. <laughs> that is a that is a lot of predictions uh, packed <laughs> into butterfly one. Butterfly effect there. All right, yeah. Uh, what now, else you know. got, Sean? No, I I mean again, I like the under eight. Where are you at, dog? Phil, uh, I liked his. The only future that I've heard that's pretty interesting is Philly one, Washington two at eleven to one, <laughs> and then. As much as the hater in me wants to take Carson Wentz most interceptions, no, I don't like. Just that. the path to that is he's not got, he's not out there long enough to get that. No, no, I think most fumbles for a quarterback, if you can somehow find that as a prop, I would be intrigued by that. But um, yeah, because he's not gonna, and also I don't think they're gonna let him throw enough to cost them that many games. Like yeah. again, they they brought in um, Robinson Jr. They have McKissick. They have Antonio Gibson. Like I think they're going to get a heavy dose of the run game. Uh, easy, also throwing Chase Young, comeback player of the year, fourteen to one. I, I don't see that. I mean, especially if he's going to be on the pup to start, he's going to miss at least probably four games. Isn't it more like you play? You'd play him to be like defensive player of the. Year. I feel like he's like he he's never winning comeback player of the year. I don't think. What like what is it going to take? No, like there's going to have to be nothing more interesting in front. Which yeah, means McCaffrey it's always gonna Barkley be end up. aren't there. Daniel Dan, sorry, Dan Jones shows <laughs> the world. What by the way, over by a mile. We're we're deep into this show before I bring up the Giants. Dan Jones, a comeback player out of the chair walking finally. Uh that's an e- so yeah, I mean, I guess I, I think well, I think like you're aren't you better off just to say he leads the league in sacks or something like that? Yeah, if if you can 25 find five to one. Is is that there? Yeah. Oh, Chase Young? Chase Young okay, sack yeah. leader. All right, yeah. You could talk me into that, but um, well, he's uh, probably got to do something like that to win one of those awards, anyway. So you're probably yeah. To your to your point again, a defensive player winning it, um, probably probably a little bit of a stretch there. Andrew, can you try and talk some sense into Ryan about uh, Dan Dan Jones, or are you or are you a fan? Oh, yeah. Are you taking any Dan Jones in best ball drafts? Uh, only if I absolutely have to. If I miss out on literally everybody, I will then take Dan, as we now call him, Jones. Uh, and then, no, actually, I think he's all right. <laughs> yeah, his uh, you know Kramer always talks about him him uh, you know running the ball, and and I do think that there is something to that. You know, I hate to say it, he can run eighty yards and then trip and fall, but I mean, at least he gets eighty yards. So that is um, eight fantasy points. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I actually I don't mind him. Um, I, I hope he stays with the Giants for quite some time because I don't think that they're going to win oh, a lot of games with him. But great, great as a angle. quarterback, he he he's all right. Could uh, Carson Wentz go winless? <laughs> 80, 80 to one. Wait, it, it, Commanders go winless. Eighty to one. Yeah, nah, there, there nah. There's enough. Uh, there's enough talent on Commanders there. to go undefeated. Hundred fifty to one. Which one's a better bet? <laughs> yeah, I'd have okay. to lean. I'd have to lean winless. But uh, yeah, either neither one is uh, getting my cash there. All right, and uh, Andrew, of course, going to be a big part of Draft Day Two Point Oh. 
Ryan, uh, tell people draft day 2.0 coming. Yeah, you can uh, you can watch me uh, fully. You know, it's just it's raw. There's a camera. I'm gonna look at it, 24 hours straight. I'm gonna draft teams. I'm gonna have some people on to help me pass the time so I don't go crazy. I'm gonna have some snacks. Yeah, I'm gonna have some bathroom breaks, and we're doing it all uh, to to raise a little money for friend of the program, friend of the the DGens only, uh, friend of Andrew, uh, dude by the name of Daryl. Um, you know, long story short, some bad shit happened to him. So we're going to help. And I, I actually, as we're, as we were talking right now, I was kind of making some notes. I think what we're going to have to do is every time I draft Daniel Jones, I'm going to have to go over and donate money. <laughs> I right. think every time I go piss, I got to donate money. <laughs> I think every time I, I think that's the way we're going to do this, right? Yes. Cause we're doing I it. draft Dan Jones. We're all as a, as a team, everyone in the live streams going over and we're dropping some bunny, some fucking tips in the tip jar. Yeah, so we uh, got to come up with a list of the the things I'm going to be donating. I like that little I, uh, little uh, draft day bingo or something. We'll we'll be doing yeah, a prop bet thing contest coming as free, well. Free, we're going to give. I think we we've gotten approval from uh, management that we will be giving away some money. Maybe like like you said, maybe a prop sheet. Uh, Andrew's going to be just grinding out 24 hours with me. I hope you still have 24 <laughs> best ball mania three teams available because hopefully it seems. I'm more, but last year we had to go like three team, six team in the middle of the night when things got a little uh, quiet. But now the way underdog is, it's it's fucking it's main. Seems like it's blown up, yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll be in there, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Sean, Sean will be joining, I think, a little bit, maybe, maybe if he has the time. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hopping in. You I'll, do be some some, I'll be doing I'll be doing some live right. drafts. Andrew, uh, yeah. Um, I know it's I know it's your buddy. Just feel free to chime in. No, yeah, well, about so, Daryl yeah. and the the cause. So yeah, handoff. Please uh, share more. But yeah, basically, you know, doing something for a good dude. Yeah, you know, uh, again, uh, unfortunately, uh, four days before he was about to get married, he uh, was in a really bad motorcycle accident. Uh, it ripped off his right leg, you know, just above or just below the knee. Had to get the rest of it amputated right above the knee. Um, you know, I mean, God, he had like. 13 surgeries in the first like five days of being in there, just constantly yeah. on the OR table. Um, he technically died twice, uh, and, and they brought him back. So he's he's very he's very Dog. appreciative, uh, yeah. you know, to be here. Um, Dog. super lucky dude. I actually went and watched uh, the F1 race with him this morning, and uh, it's it's nice to have him home. You know, it's nice to be in a normal setting. And uh, I mean, he has unfortunately more surgeries to come um, before he can get his prosthetic leg. Uh, he has to be able to bear weight on his arms, and he just can't do that right now. So. So they're gonna go in and, and and fix him up and and get him better. But uh, I mean, mentally he he's good to go. You know, he's he's excited for draft day. You know, he's he wants to be a part of it if at all possible. And um, you know, he's he's a really solid dude. He, he's a guy that would give you the shirt off his back and never ask for it again. So I I you know I I really hope that people will come watch, donate. Um, you know, it's a great cause. And and Daryl's a Daryl's a great dude, man. He's a I, I I can't say enough about him. He's he's been my best friend for a long time, and he's he's more like a brother to me. So. And just to confirm, he's not a Cowboys fan, right? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we might have to cancel everything if it turns out he's a Cowboys fan. Just have uh, him fake it. Like whatever, <laughs> whatever you do, don't bring up the Cowboys fan. <laughs> no, uh, Daryl. Uh, yeah, great dude. And yeah, I mean, he shared the photos, and it was like, oh, it's it's a crazy story. So yeah, uh, we I, have I'm merch. Excited. We'll be giving away a shitload of SGPN merch. Tons of announcements related to that stuff coming out. So mark your calendars. August 9th, noon PM Pacific, draft day 2.0 begins. And uh yeah, follow at gambling podcast on Twitter for all the updates. But uh tons of stuff coming down the pike. Uh follow uh Andrew on Twitter at A Rob23. A R A U B twenty three. Uh, Andrew, thanks for calling in. He's going to be doing some more, uh, you know, some fantasy football, best ball stuff for us. Tons more uh, down the pike. And then uh, Merch Monday, alive and well. Mm. Take a screenshot of you submitting a review. Uh, and yeah, Andrew's rocking the sweet SGP at. You can buy it over at store.sportsgamingpodcast.com or you can submit a review. Take a screenshot <sighs> of you submitting the review. 
Uh, and just uh, click the contest tab <laughs> in the app, and you're good to go. Every time you it's say dangerous. That. Yeah, every, uh, I mean, I will say the new store is pretty fire. New store is awesome. Oh my god, man! I, I had so much fun going on there and using my gift card. And, and yeah, I told my wife, I'm like, you know that we're not just stopping with the gift card, right? There's <laughs> there's more and more and more. All the stuff with you know that you have now for the kids. Uh, you know, my son's rocking the SGP stuff everywhere we go now. So nice. it's yeah, yeah. It was hard to figure out what I couldn't buy now, and I'll have to save for later. <laughs> Well, Hashtag digits only. Yeah, now, now we're giving out gift cards too. Draft day, they'll be draft good. day. I'm I'm pulling I'm full, my full Costner. I'm going I'm going all the way. Let's go. All right. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Seriously though, sorry about your commanders this year. <laughs> <laughs> go birds. For <laughs> the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean. Second the money green. He is Ryan. Carson Wentz, baby. Kramer, let it ride.